Hello guys and welcome back. This is just a quick video of where we are with the Manxman. I haven't made much progress unfortunately, but what I have done, I've taken all the parts off the bike that I believe need to be painted with this polychromatic blue here that you see here. And it's amazing, there is probably over 40 parts, uh, not even including the frame that's not here, and some other parts as well that I need to buy and then have them painted. So um, I thought what I'd do is just give you a quick sneak preview of some of these parts. And what I found interesting is along the way, I found some parts that still have traces of the blue paint in spite of the significant effort that the guy's gone through uh, in order to remove all traces of the blue as he's painted it black. So hope you'll enjoy this for now and I'll get back to you soon on this project. Here's just a quick flyby of some of the parts that will need to be painted. So starting up at the top left hand side, uh, rear foot pegs, uh, engine mounting plates, the fork shrouds, uh, the ears, the battery tray, the toolbox, uh, more front mounting plates, um, there the shock absorbers. Everything there that you see is black will need to be blue and um, so I need to order a new set of shocks and then have them repainted. Like I say a toolbox, uh, front pedals, the side stand, the main stand, uh, cross members for the frame, uh, brake pedal, a vanity plate, um, that is I think from the triple tree, yes it is, yeah, and then we've got the side cover there, which I've had a go at with um, paint stripper and that was a total fail, so it's going to need to be dipped at some point, and then of course there's the oil can, and then just lots of little bits and bobs, even those handlebar brackets are blue, and then of course we've got the toolbox, and then the primary uh, inner primary cover and assembly and then foot peg mounting brackets. Even this little thing here is the horn bracket that hangs off the head steady. So a lot of parts, uh, plus some other parts that I haven't already got for the bike that I need to order and then repainted. And then off to one side here we have some parts that have already got little traces of the blue paint on them. I just thought you might like to see what they are. I've also bought this rather nice engine stand from Norville in the UK. I uh, just thought it would be helpful just to have the stand while it's on the bench, probably for some time, and as I begin disassembling this motor. And here are some of those parts at the bench that have still a little trace of the blue, original blue paint. What I'm seeing here is uh, on the underside of the petrol gas tank is we've got the paint. Um, to me, that looks like it was painted just onto the bare metal um, with no undercoat. Um, but I could be wrong, but it, it really looks like it was just painted on bare metal. Um, I did think at one point I might be able to get a colour match from something here, but honestly, I don't know. It may have faded and deteriorated too much. So that's the gas tank anyway. And then we'll look at some of the other parts. This was an interesting piece. This is the head steady bracket. Uh, it attaches to the cylinder head and also onto the Reynolds frame at the front. It's a little egged out there, so I might have to fix that. But um, you may know that there was a bracket that hangs down with all these little plates that hold the horn on. Um, and I was quite pleased to see that there was quite a lot of paint left on this. Just possible enough to get a match. I do have a paint code, by the way, but um, I'm gonna try and compare what the paint code delivers with what we actually get a scan on here, just to see if we can get the best possible match for the original paint color. Here we just have uh, a little like a vanity cover plate for the rear of the gearbox actually and there's just a few minor traces if you can make them out nothing uh, that we can use at all uh, this next part here this is the uh, taco or rev counter bracket I think it might be bent I think that is supposed to be straight and that's not a problem but just to have this I believe this is quite a rare part and so that's great and then of course as I took the um, rev counter off. There are again a few traces of the original blue in here. And then you've seen this before, I think, when we took the headlight apart. Uh, there were some traces on the inside 
look like an overspray almost actually and what I'm learning is that the headlight assemblies themselves that came from Lucas delivered to the Norton factory were painted black and then it's actually Norton that painted them blue. Same with the side covers I believe as well and also the oil tank. And then finally um, the most unusual part of all is can you believe it the rear drum and brake plate they would have also been blue. There's, there's no traces on here that I'm aware of, but on the inside there's a little bit of a trace. And then if I turn it over, I never even saw this on the bike, but there's the blue. Isn't that... Uh, it's going to be blue. So, yeah, I didn't appreciate that this whole hub would be painted, so that's another part. So one of these days, the bike should hopefully look like that. All right, well, that's it for now, guys. And uh, hopefully in the next video, we'll be uh, with myself going up to the frame straighteners in Tacoma, Washington. I'm hoping that he'll say a few words about what was wrong with the frame and just give a sense of how he went about straightening it. So thanks a lot, guys. See you later.